lastly, there are those moments in our lives when silence feels like abandonment. I've sat in many hospital rooms and living rooms and even in my own life and I've called out to God and the families have called out to God and they have said we've cried out to the Lord and we have heard nothing and it feels like God is not with us. It feels like we are abandoned. I just don't think God is listening. We've probably all felt that way at some point in our lives. We probably thought, why did this happen to me, God? And we don't hear an answer. And it's easy to think God just doesn't care. And so when I comb through the scriptures, I think immediately about a man named Jesus who hung on a tree and who cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Where was God in that moment while Jesus hung on the tree? Where was he? Where was God? Was God up in the heavens with God's back turned to the world? Was God taking care of other business that day? No? God was right there on that tree. God was right there on that tree. At times, I've learned in my life, we may not need a word from God. Rather than mistaking it for silence, maybe it is presence. Maybe it is presence. Presence. 